what is up guys today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make your spinner heavier and I'm mainly doing this for spinners that have LEDs in it like this instead of the bearings like a normal spinner would have it has these little lights and um, they're kind of annoying they're bulky you can see how they bulge and then um, they also aren't near as heavy as the real spinners and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make these type heavier or if you have one of these type and it's just not heavier or heavy enough for you, you can take these out and do the exact same thing. So this is what we're going to be making today. I have I bought a bunch of these from Five Below, and um, I did not like the way they felt at all with these like plastic LEDs on them. They don't feel heavy. They don't spin as long. You can't balance stuff on top of it when they spin, and yeah, it's just not very nice. So um, I took two nickels and a dime and put them in every side and I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that right now. But first, um, if you guys notice, there's pretty much no sound when I spin these. If you want to see a video on how to do that, you should go ahead and check out my channel or go to the link in the description and I'll show you guys how to make your spinner silent so you can spin them in class without being an annoyance. So to take these out, um, first of all, you'd think you could just pop them out like a normal spinner, like the the bearings in a normal spinner, you can just pop out. These you can't because um, they have this little ridge in them that it's kind of weird. On the inside, it comes closer together in the center. It's hard to explain. So you have to pop each side out individually and um, that takes quite a bit of time. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this. But uh, basically you just take your knife and it may take a lot of time and I'm <laughs> you might have to try this multiple multiple times for it to actually work but you're just gonna take your knife and pry them out and you're gonna have to do that to every single one okay so we finally got one off now that took a very long time just to get one off it's kind of annoying but it's well worth it but you can kind of see how it comes in towards the center and that's why you can't just push them straight out and um, here are the two pieces so one side you'll pop off and then one will still be stuck in there you just press it through and you have one side with nothing and now we need to go ahead and do that to all the others okay so we have all of them out now and I went ahead and took off these things because they're getting kind of annoying and notice how they don't spend long at all because there's pretty much no way it feels like nothing in your hand so what we're gonna go ahead to do so what we're gonna go ahead and do is first of all collect all these I'm gonna put all these back together just so if I ever want to put these back in I can and um, that's another thing the way I'm doing this is not destructive um, I might put a few marks or scratches on these but that's pretty much it I'm just using hot glue, you, um, you could do super glue, but super glue is more permanent, which I do not like. I'd like to be able to change these out if I ever wanted to or mod it some other way. So um, I'm going to take these and here is what we're going to need now. So I got three nickels here and um, that's what we're going to start with. I'm going to go ahead and bring my hot glue over here and um, you're going to want to make sure everything's clean how you want it and we're gonna go ahead and get three nickels so I'm gonna make sure that all the heads are the same and they're all facing the same direction so it doesn't like look really sloppy um, which it might already because you're like literally putting change into your spinner but this is what we're gonna go ahead and do so you take your spinner and um, you're just gonna put a little bit of hot glue on one side just make a little ring and it depends on what type of spinner you have so the ones these LED ones the nickel fits perfectly on top like that and it actually goes in a little bit but because of the ridge in the center it kinda won't go any farther it just it stays level with the rest of the spinner which is really nice but if you have a spinner like this you might have to put um, a bunch more hot glue in it because there might be a tiny bit more space in the hole there but it should work out too just as well um, so I have one nickel in there and again the hot glue dries really fast which is something I like and now we're gonna put the dime in the center which is not mandatory if um, you want a lighter spinner but still heavier than the LEDs you can just skip this part and just not put any uh, extra weight in but these will fit perfectly in the center and now we are halfway done 
with this side and we'll have to do this to every single side but it's already feeling a lot heavier than before and um, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do uh, the dimes or the nickels on this side last so I'm gonna do another ring right here for my second nickel and we're just gonna put this right there so now we have that one I'm gonna go ahead and do this ring as well just because it's easier I don't have to flip it over as much and you don't want to do too much hot glue you want to be kind of careful um, it you don't want to you want to stay even as well because if you do too much on one side not enough on the other side it will not be balanced so um, I have the nickels in all on that side now I'm gonna go and put dimes in the very center of all of these and another thing about using hot glue is if you ever like have no money at all and um, you're in a pinch you can just take your money out of here and do whatever you need to do JK but uh, that is always an option okay so all the dimes are in now and I have hot glue strings everywhere which is really annoying but it's already spinning way better than before and we haven't even put in the last nickels so the last nickels are pretty easy just do the outer edge just like you did like the first time and um, I'm using the same type or same style of nickel with the you probably can't see it. I'm using the head on that way on the back side and the head this way on that side just to make things uh, equal because I couldn't find all of the same exact type so good enough and now I have one more and just set the last one in and now you have a spinner that is not super light and I do have hot glue strings everywhere but um, it's really easy to clean up after you do the hot glue you're just gonna want to rub and maybe take like a knife or razor to some of the excess glue to get it off to make it nice and smooth but now you have a spinner I'm gonna go ahead and put these back on and it'll spin way longer and it feels a lot better in your hand to do kind of like these spin motions you actually feel like you have something in your hand versus these LEDs that have zero weight so if you guys enjoy this video at all or have any questions at all, go ahead and comment down below what you guys think about this or your question. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. And keep in mind, if you guys want to learn how to make these silent, you can go ahead and onto my channel or the link in the description and you'll figure out how to make these silent. See you guys. Yes.